Hi, and welcome back to Pittman's Pumpkin Patch, Pittman's Garden Patch. As you can see, it's getting pretty late, so I don't know if this video is going to come out very good. But I was mentioned earlier that I was going to hook up my fertigation system. And uh, so here it is. It's the Easy Flow. This is an, uh, a unit that can handle constant pressure as, as well as on-off pressure. So I don't have to worry about where I'm putting this system into the, in the line of between the filters, at, before the timers, after the timers, before this or after that. None of that matters with this particular unit. Okay, I believe it's the 1010 HB uh, from Easy Flow, but it's a fertigation system. And uh, if one of the first things I want to uh, note is I've watched a couple other people uh, set it up on YouTube uh, and everything. And I even got emails from one person who represents a company and uh, instructed me as, as to, you know, do I need to uh, just put in the fertilizer in the tank and then fill the tank up with water and then hook it all up? Or do I just put it in the liquid fertilizer, screw on the cap, and then turn on the water and the water would fill up the tank and all that kind of stuff like that? Well, uh, I'm here to tell you that I tried it the way they told me to and I'd really I was not seeing any of my fertilizer come out of the line okay and so what I did was then I, I filled up the tank you know, nice little helicopter coming over <laughs> say hi to you two there you are anyways <laughs> um, and so I just I unscrewed the cap and I filled up the rest of the tank with water and then I put the uh, put the green cap back on and did it and then it worked fine the actual instructions I know this is gonna be like a dumb moment but the actual instructions that came with it said fill up the you know put in your liquid fertilizers and all your other trace minerals and stuff you're gonna put in there that's water soluble and then fill up the tank with water and then put on the cap you know and then do it that way and believe it or not the instructions are right do it that way don't sit there and put in just your liquid fertilizer and then put on the cap and then turn on the water and expect the tank to fill up and get your uh, your your um, fertilizer to come out of the injection system. It just doesn't work that way because what I believe is happening is, is there was air pockets in there and that was keeping it from truly getting a good siphon going, a good suction going and, and you know sending the fertilizer out of the tube. And I, I immediately as soon as I did it the way the manual said, I could see my liquid fertilizer coming out of the clear tube right here and um, it works just fine. So let me do you a quick little thing. Uh, let me turn on my little light here. <laughs> Sorry. I probably have to reshoot this. I have two of these uh, timers here. Okay, because I've broken up my garden into like seven to eight zones just because I got so many different kinds of plants and they have different watering needs you know peppers need this much tomatoes need that zucchinis need this you know that kind of stuff so I broke up my zones in the water pressure you know the more holes you drill into your PVC lines the you know the course the the water pressure is dropping each time so that's another factor as to why I had to divide up my um, garden into seven to eight zones uh, but basically what I have here on the spigot I got a uh, vacuum breaker or backflow preventer hooked up there okay and that's a that's a, a must because you don't want the stuff backing up into your uh, water supply system that you drink in your house especially if you're using those <coughs> chemical fertilizers <clears throat> but I don't I use all organic then I have my boogie blue water filter the filter the water first and because things were such a tight spot in here I had to hook up a separate little hose just for trial purposes right now until I can find a small, small, <laughs> small little garden hose line. This is about a 15 footer. So I just had to put it in because it was so tight in there. I couldn't get my, all my different components to screw in because it was just meeting the, it was hitting the ground and just wasn't getting a good seal. So I put this in here temporarily so I can get a short hose to fix the problem. And so anyways, that garden hose comes out comes in and hooks into the fertigation system right there so it's filtered water going in and then that hooks into that four uh, port splitter one of the ports is hooked into this water timer the other one has a hose that goes over to another to an exact duplicate uh, exact uh, 
water timer on the other side and um, I just like I said I, I just had to get two because they only sell four ports and I needed about seven to eight so I had to buy two so anyways one goes over one comes off of here and connects over so anyways goes in there and comes out there and these hose lines go to my PVC's over there and they connect to different zones so I got a lot of garden hoses <laughs> it looks like a mess but anyways uh, the simple thing is is when you hook up this uh, let's see if you can see that uh, coloring there blue and green blue on here goes to blue on the fertigation tank green on here goes to green on the fertigation tank and so it's simple you can't really screw it up so the black tubing line comes off of the blue okay and there it is the black tubing connecting to the blue nut right there the clear tube that has the that uh, comes from the green side comes over and there's the clear tube and it connects to the green nut right there okay and it, why a clear tube there? Because that's where your fertilizer comes out of. And if you have just a clear fertilizer, a clear liquid fertilizer, then you're going to want to add food coloring to your uh, mix so, uh, so that you can dye it, dye the fertilizer, and then you can then see your fertilizer is coming out. So that, therefore you'll know it's, that it's working. Mine happens to be uh, uh, some kind of a mixture of fish emulsion I actually am using da, da, da. <laughs> this is the ocean harvest 423 all organic fertilizer and uh, I'm having pretty good results with that so anyways that's already brown okay so it, it's easy for me to it's easy to see I don't I didn't have to add any dye but if you have a clear uh, liquid fertilizer then then yeah you're gonna need to add uh, some food coloring or something to it to dye the fertilizer so you can see it so anyways I added that I added some liquid uh, trace minerals okay I also put in um, some kelp meal liquid kelp meal and I also put in some azomite uh, micronized not granular micronized powder in there because it all will mix with the uh, in the water it, it, as long as you put anything in here as long as it's water soluble you're fine okay and so I put in the powder and I, and I shake it up in, in the, with the water and it mixes all in there. I even put some of my Azazol, which is another product when I do my product video. I'll talk to you more about that. That helps deal with the bugs. So you put that in, there's water soluble, and that goes out to the system and, it, and the roots suck it, suck it up. And it's systemic, so it goes through the, all their plant leaves and stems and vines and everything. And it gives your plant uh, some protection against bugs that like to bite on them okay so anyways so that all works and once you got it hooked up uh, you know you have a, a system on here where you can uh, see that now you can adjust it and the faster the flow obviously the more fertilizer is going to go out and everything like that and so I've checked it out and tested it and it works pretty good so let me just see if this will show up on the video one second while I turn on Let's say I'll do zone four, turn on the water, all right, and I don't know if you can see, right now I think I have it on the low, sorry for all the lighting and stuff, I'm going to have to probably shoot this, now I'm going to turn it on high. And it's really, I can smell it. <laughs> I can smell that stuff. I don't know if that's really showing up for you. Okay, see there's the brown. Maybe that's maybe you can see that through there now. That's the brown uh, fertilizer liquid. Now let me turn it down so it goes a slower. And you see, we'll see we have a color difference. See how it's lighter? See how you can see a little bit of brown going through there? Let's right, see if I can get this thing to stay there, the flashlight. There we go. All right. All oh, rats. <laughs> oh, come on, flashlight. Cooperate with me. Come on now. This is YouTube now. Let's go. Okay. 
All right, now watch. I'm gonna turn. Okay, you got that much. Now I'm gonna crank it up and get it coming out faster. See how the brown goes through. So a lot more is going out. I'll turn it back down. See how it cleared up. See that? Turn it back up on fast. Browns up. Turn it back. Clears up. Now that the fertilizer is still going out. It's just going out in slower doses. Okay. All right. <laughs> so. And it goes out into my system. Anyways, it's getting real dark. Pittman's pumpkin patch, Pittman's garden patch. Talk at you later.